What is up, y'all? And welcome back to another Thoughtful Tuesday. Um, in this moment, I am working on this dope behind little suit. And I'm pushing myself with it. I'm really excited. I'm showing it feels this particular design out of every single design I've ever made feels most like me. I can't wait to show you guys. But in the meantime, let me let me really hop into this Thoughtful Tuesday. So, um, on my lunch, I'm actually recording this on my lunch right now. So when you guys see this video, I made this video today. And while on my lunch, I was like, God, I'm, I'm having some anxiety and I don't know why. And I heard her say, seek me. So I went and the word that kept coming up in my mind was the specific words, think. So I'm like, okay, I can really go through my mind and like, okay, what does scripture say about think? As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. But I'm like, no, God, what, what are you really trying to tell me? So I go to, you know, the back of my study Bible and I look at the words think and it tells me to go look at the word thought. So I'm looking at certain scriptures and I'm really pulling out the scriptures that um, resonated with me the most in this moment. And it was 2 Corinthians, I believe it was, 10 and 5 I could be wrong or 2nd Corinthians 10 and 5 I'll plug it on somewhere on the side it was um Isaiah 55 as well and Isaiah 6 I'm gonna plug it plug everything I'm, 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 I'm talking about that I read but as I was sitting there and I'm reading and I'm reading about thinking what's so interesting y'all um over the past several months I mean when I say several it's going on a year. Oh, it's been a year. September 3rd made a year that I've been in Atlanta. And over the past several months, like since April, March of this year, I've been hearing, be careful how you think. And when I hear it, I'm just like, you know, in that moment, I'm like, well, I, I'm thinking fine. You know, ain't nothing wrong. Like, I'm not thinking about anything negative. I'm not just, I felt like in that moment, my thinking was okay. And so today, this anxiety like rushed me and I'm just like, wait a minute, hold up, where's this coming from? And I literally sit in it and I'm like, God, where is this coming from? And as I'm reading these scriptures and he's ministering to me about how I think and how we should think, um, what came to mind was how often we allow outside things influence us. And how we can allow unforgiveness to open a door to principalities and powers. And I was like, God, who am I not forgiving? Like, who have I not forgiven? And honestly, I wasn't even going to go here where I'm about to go. So I may cry a little bit because, you know, last Tuesday I told you guys I'm going to be a little bit more vulnerable because he, um, he kind of... He's pushing me to be vulnerable and telling me my, vulnerable is, my vulnerability is a strength. And um, as I was trying to figure out, God, who do I need to forgive? And it, it's me. I was like, mm, you sure? Like, you sure it's not this person or that person? And it's like, no, you need to forgive yourself. And I'm like, okay, well, why do I need to forgive myself? And it's simply because if I'm honest, you know, I opened up this video talking about what I'm making. I've had this dream since I was, oh, man, I'm about to cry. <sighs> I've had this dream since I was 10 years old and I didn't know that there was a career in fashion. I never knew it, um, but I've had this dream of being in the industry and being a designer, like my name, Talaya Jesse as a designer. You know, I told my mom, this is what I want to do. I want to move to LA, go to school for fashion, whoop de whoop. And I kept saying it since I was 10. So the moment she realized like, okay, my baby is serious. My mom poured into that. And um, she bought me sketchbooks, color pencils. My grandmother bought me my first sewing machine. She taught me how to sew, but she was just shaking too much. And I was like, you know what? I'm over it. Don't want to do it. So fast forward to now, to me talking about forgiving myself and God is like, to let you got to be careful how you think and forgive yourself. Um, 
you get to a point like where you put a timeline on when you think things should happen and when they're not happening the way you ought to or they're happening but it they don't look like what you thought it was gonna look like and that was the part that I was kind of stepping into I couldn't really see it was happening it just wasn't looking like how I thought it was gonna look like at 10 years old and I didn't know that it was putting me in a state of doubt and worry and fear and angst and rush and he kept saying be careful how you think I was allowing influences to tell me you got to do this you got to do it like this you got to move like that you got to post that you got to do that to the point where I'm like God I don't want to do thoughtful Tuesday videos I don't want to do all this stuff it's gonna if it's gonna come with that yes I understand to whom much is given much is required but if it's gonna come with anxiety God that that can't be you so in this moment on my lunch with him ministering to me through these scriptures about thinking and um, helping me realize that we don't wrestle not with flesh and blood but against principalities and powers, I ask you, what is influencing your thinking? For me, it was the doubt and fear and the angst and the worry of when, W-H-E-N, are things going to look like the way I've been dreaming and I constantly dream about and I constantly write about? Um, when is it going to happen, right? And that has been influencing how I think, causing me to have faith, but also at times be tossed a little bit to and fro. So for you, who and what is influencing your thinking? Because God is not the author of confusion. And he gives us a sound mind. He doesn't give us the spirit of fear, but a power and of love and of a sound mind. And we don't wage war against flesh, but against every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So if that anxiety, that worry, and that fear is trying to make itself bigger than what God said, what is influencing your thinking? I know for me, what has been helping me get out of the anxiety, of course, is seeking him. Like, okay, seek him. And then once I seek him, my soul, my spirit is at rest. And then I go back into creating, remembering that I'm not just doing this for money. I was created to do this. And things are playing out and manifesting the way they should. I just need to lean out to my own understanding because my own understanding caused me to think a certain way that leads to anxiety. And I want to go over here the way God said. So all of that, ask yourself this week, what is influencing your thinking? Who is influencing your thinking? Um, is there something in your heart that you're holding on to that is influencing your thinking? And if there is something influencing it, it's not people because we wrestle not with flesh and blood. Will you give it to God and trust him with it and understand that's not him if it's causing worry and anxiety? That's all I really got. That's, that's all I got. That's not, that, baby, that's all I got.